So inspired by that wonderful Norton wine that you just saw aging in a fooder, I'm going to show you how to make Norton braised short ribs that are going to be given a little bit of gremolata to kind of cut through the richness and add a little bit of acidity to the dish. I have my oven preheating at 375 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything. Here I have three pounds of short ribs and I have about a pound of potatoes and four carrots. I've just peeled them. I'm gonna cut them into two, three-ish inch lengths. And now I'm just gonna dice up one onion. I'm going to put five, six garlic cloves whole into the braising liquid. And one of the easiest ways to peel a whole head of garlic, stick it in a jar and then shake. Before I head over to the stove, I'm gonna go ahead and make the gremolata. This is going to be kind of sprinkled on top of the short ribs when they're served. All I'm gonna do is zest one lemon, chop up a couple of these garlic cloves, a whole bunch of fresh parsley. I'm gonna add in a little bit more salt, Last thing before we head over to the stove, I'm just going to salt and pepper these short ribs. You wanna make sure to season them well on every side. I have a little bit of grapeseed oil, which is a nice neutral oil that has a very high smoke point. When this heats up on medium high, I'm just gonna brown each side of the short ribs and add in my onion and my garlic. Cook until they're a little bit translucent. Then I'm gonna add in some tomato paste. I'm gonna caramelize that before adding in my wine. Now I just have a cup of beef broth. I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer and then I'm going to put my short ribs all the way around the pot, add in my veg and a little bit of rosemary, and then I'm just gonna put it in the oven for about two and a half to three hours. Just took the pot out of the oven and big reveal. This is really rich, really fatty, and to cut through all of that, we just put a shower of this bright, acidic gremolata on top. I always pair my dishes with an American native or hybrid grape. The braised short ribs were cooked with Norton, but I'm also going to be pairing this with Chamberson, which is a hybrid red grape, and it has a wonderful, kind of lighter body and a bit of acidity so that it's going to be a nice foil to the rich beef that we have here in front of us. If you're looking for the recipe, all you have to do is head to the website. All the information is there and I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I'll see you next time.